Hi everybody, welcome to Lula Laboratory. I'm Lula. Today, I will introduce a very interesting element. It's called radium. Radium was the element that was discovered by Matt and Curie. It is a pure white alkaline earth metal, but it readily oxidizes on exposure to air, becoming black in color. All isotopes of radium are highly radioactive, with the most stable isotope of radium 226, which has a half life. 1601 years and decays into radon gas. In a laboratory, radium often appears in forms of compound, but not a pure metal. And most of the radium compounds are sealed into a paraffin or a brass cylinder in case of the radiation leaked out. In the course of a radiant decay, an alpha particle will emit it and a gamma ray will emit it at the same time. We can detect the high energy radiation by Geiger counter. Here is a radiant 2 to 6 radiation source and here is a Geiger counter. Now, let me turn it on. You can hear it is beeping. One beep means it detects one radiation. It will calculate the frequency of the beeps and display with the, the, the unit microsiever per hour. The radiation quantity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the source and the detector. We can see the other Geiger counter to prove it. Now I'm opening the radiation 226 226 rate radiation source carefully. You can see this. The radiant compound had been sealed it into a very, very fine gold foil. Here is it. Okay, let's start with 20 centimeter. detect 365 radiations in 5 minutes. Then let's change the distance into 15 centimeters and do it again. Okay, time is up. Now we get 760 counts and then we push it into the other distance 10 centimeters 365 counts in 5 minions is equal to 73 counts per minion In this figure, we can know it is really inversely proportional to the square of distance, and we can also know how radioactive the radiation